if you don't deal with your foundation, the foundation will keep working against you. All the prayer you have been praying and they are yet to be answered. This month, they are answered in the mighty name of Jesus. What you have waited for for so long and it look as if it's not forthcoming in this month of resurrection, in this month of the power, in this month of anointing, they are locating you in the mighty name of Jesus. That contract you have long waited for, that contract belongs to you, but they are contemplating he's not part of us. Do we give it to him or we should not give it to him? I stand on this altar. I speak to your life. Any power that is standing between you and that contract, I release Holy Ghost fire to crush them down in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are in the month of resurrection. So I have before me here family resurrection. Hallelujah. In John eleven twenty five to 26, John eleven twenty five to 26, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whatsoever that live by believing in me will never die again. Do you believe this? That is the word of God towards your life. So when you have anything that is contrary to this, it is not from God. It is from Satan. So don't believe what the enemy is saying to you. That is why somebody asked me sometime last week, that is there any time we are going to stop praying? Don't deceive yourself. There is never a time to rest on this planet earth. This is a marketplace, a journey place which we have come to, to journey. Our place of rest is when Jesus Christ comes, when the rapture wants to take place. That is when we are to rest. So as far as you are on this earth, you must pray and pray and pray as if there is no tomorrow. The enemy are planning. They are not tired. So why should they be tired of praying? Keep praying. Pray until something happens. Even when you pray and it seems as if nothing is happening, keep praying because something will definitely happen. And in Peter 1 3, praise be to the God our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new paths and a living hope. A living hope. A living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Which living hope are you expecting? When you have Jesus Christ, all fear is gone. All disappointment is gone. All failure at the edge of breakthrough is gone. And God will see you through in the mighty name of Jesus. At 4.33, with great power, the apostle continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And God's grace was so powerful at work in them all. I pray for you this morning that you will testify. Luke 24, 6-7. Luke 24, 6-7. He is not here. He has risen. That dead place the enemy is looking for you. You are no longer there. You are coming alive in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lazarus, when he has died, the case is written off. It's a total forgotten issue. He has started rotting. But when resurrection power of the Almighty God rests upon his life, and God said, Christ like assembly, come forth. That situation you have written off, I am a living proof. For me to be alive today, right from my birth till now, my enemy wants me dead. Even, even as I'm starting here, they want me dead. Even when I was praying, they will fire the arrow. They are doing their job. Why you should do your homework? God did not promise you that you will not face battle. He did not. He never promised you that. So when you see battle, don't say, eh, why is the battle coming? Who is Victoria? Are you Victoria? Be walking around the church. Be walking around the church. Be walking around the church. 
So when that battle comes, it says, he that overcome. What do you want to overcome? All those obstacles, all those problems, all those enemies of yours, all those enemies that don't want your prayer through. They want your downfall, and that foundation is there. Let me tell you one thing why you should pray. There is a, a particular family at a particular stage, when they want to have child, they keep having miscarriage. As you are walking, I decree and declare any power, anybody seeking your life, they will go on a journey of no return in the mighty name of Jesus. I saw your daughter in New York. That child is a star, but there is a strange woman that wants to stop her. But I pray this morning that every strange forces over your life, I crush them down in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that is contending with you, they vow that you will not travel. By the reason of the anointing, every joke is broken. Every power that is holding your business, holding your progress, just come straight to the altar. Holy Ghost fire begin to destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thunder the resurrection power ensure our justification. The resurrection power show that Jesus Christ defeated death. The resurrection power unite us with Christ. The resurrection power show that Christ is the Son. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. True of us. And when you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and you are the children of God, then what is that thing that you will ask that God will not give it to you. So in that foundation, where you were small, you don't know where your parents have taken you to. Till tomorrow, I still pray. Any covenant joining me and my parents, because you cannot decide which family you come out from. But you can change things. So that is any covenant that is joining me with my, with my parents, I break it by fire. They were not born again. I don't know where they took me to during birth. I don't know what they have said, whatsoever they have said it. Till tomorrow, I break that covenant. When your parents, each any one of them, they, are, they belong to a particular kingdom, and you are praying uh, they should die. When they die, don't rejoice. That is not the time to rejoice. Because a witchcraft, a child of a witchcraft, children of the witchcraft, all their names are on that altar. If you belong to occult, all your names are on that altar. So you pray and destroy that altar. Set that altar ablaze until that altar catch fire. That is when you can start rejoicing. That is why you should pray every day. A day should not be complete without you studying the word of God and pray. What do you even want to pray? You still pray the word of God. If there is anything you are looking for, it's inside this manual that the almighty God has given us. If there is any other way, it, it leads to destruction. So every day, as a child of God, you live on faith. There is no solution anywhere. There is no family that does not face one challenges or the other. Even in this Africa of, of, of us, that is full of wicked, that is full of callous people, that you will not even do them bad, but they wish you bad. Yes, when you even know that that people, they are your enemy, you don't fight them physically because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against power, against rulers of darkness in the high places. Even if you know that this is your enemy, just tell the person, good morning, how are you? How is everything? And when you enter inside, anywhere they are, whoever that is fighting against my progress, whoever that is fighting against my success, holy ghost, fire, 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 holy ghost, fire. Greet the person as if there is nothing. But enter your closest. The people that say, I will not prosper, that I will not have money, what are you waiting for? Waste them by fire. Die physically, die spiritually. Die physically, die spiritually. Whatsoever. The enemy that say, I will not have peace, they will know no peace. The enemy that say, Christ the assembly will not be, that Christ the will not do what God has orchestrated Christ to do, whatsoever they are eating, it will turn against them. The water they are drinking will turn against them. People around them will turn against them. What matters most to them will turn against them. Even their underwear will turn against them. Anything they put on, it will not work. Anyone that have eaten my food, taking my water, 
my oil and my material that belong to me. I stand that anybody that is calling Christ to assembly them for evil, Holy Ghost fire will crush them down. Oh Lord, make their life miserable. Make when you are praying, pray for your helper. When you are praying, pray for a helper. There was a, 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 a house, a, a family. The mother born again. Her elder sister is the one taking care of the house. Everything they eat, she's the one that provides for her younger sister. And her younger sister's daughter belongs to the witch kovu. So each time she will come to attack the mother because they gave her an assignment to kill the mother. And she must kill. If she did not kill, she will die. Can you see? You say, he's my brother. He's my sister. Your brother and your sister. Once they belong to that kingdom, they don't know you. They will not hesitate to bring your head and waste your life. So stop that, uh, whatever it is, uh, that uh, sympathy. Your brother and your sister. And they don't want your progress. How can they be your brother and sister? And the mass enemy as the same man of his own household. Why would you read this word of God and understand it? Don't need a person to be telling you that this is your enemy. Don't go to your village. Okay, keep going there. All the years will be going to your village. What has happened? You are not even there. You are here. See how your life is. If, you're, if you have built a house, a mansion, is it a crime? If you are traveling abroad, anytime you like, is it a crime? So there are many things you should have achieved. They are still attacking you even right here. Now you want to carry yourself and go and tell them that all the arrow they are firing you, it did not reach. They to fire more. That is what you are doing anytime you carry yourself and go and meet them because it's full of darkness. That is what the Bible says. I'm not telling you anything outside the word of God. If by tomorrow I want to tell you anything outside the word of God, may I not live to see that tomorrow in Jesus' name? Say amen. I, I'm sure of what I'm telling you. Say amen. Mother Arrow, each time she comes, the mother is full of fire. Yes, she's full of fire. And nothing will happen to the mother. She will go back again. She will come. She keeps trying because the mother is always praying for her and asking for the fire of God and the power of God. And she has that fire of God. Then they now gave her last warning. If she did not carry the her assignment to kill the mother. And when she came, she met the mother again where she's busy to continue her prayer. You know people that go to CAC, eh, you know the way they pray. They don't, even they, even, they, even they, they don't want to pray. They can thank God from here till tomorrow. Yes, they can thank God from here till tomorrow. And that thank God we answer all their prayer. So when the, she came to, to kill her mother, the fire was too much. Then the child had to go to where her, more, uh, her, you know her grandmother is her mother, elder sister, and fire her, her aunt and fire her, and she died. After they pray, they now discover that it was her that killed the aunt. She wanted to kill her mother, but her mother is full of fire. Then the mother now say, "Oh, she, she, the daughter has finished her life. May never, may that never be our portion in the name of Jesus." She has killed the the part of the family. So where will she start from? Who will help her? She has no anything she wants to do at all. Is that elder sister? Is that sister? That same aunt that is said paying her school fee. Now ask me, how did she want to complete the education? She did not even think of that and wasted. That is why you should live your life of prayer. As you pray for yourself, pray for your helper that the enemy will not get you and the enemy will not get your helper in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. The resurrection power gives Christians a living hope. The resurrection power manifests justice, justice for us. He stands there when the enemy comes to present you to God and says you have gone astray. Jesus Christ will say, I die because of him. I die because of her. And mercy will say no. The enemy wants you to be destroyed right now. But God say no way. The resurrection power is the basis for the kingdom building. If there is no resurrection power, both of us, we will be no more. We will not have anything to live for. We will not have hope. Because he live, we can face tomorrow. Because he live, all fear is gone. Because he live, I know that my tomorrow shall be greater than today. What that I'm expecting might not be, but my tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow must surely be greater than today. Hallelujah. The enemy have come to live. 
The resurrection power sustains our homes, our life, our well-being, and our wholeness. The resurrection power reveals a new way of being human. The resurrection power defeated the devil, Satan, that has the power of death, but was defeated by Jesus Christ's death on the cross of Calvary. The resurrection power is the foundation of the gospel. Without it, there is no good news for you and I. Without that resurrection power, our faith is actually nothing. At 1631, at 1631, and they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shall be safe and thy household. Simple. Jesus Christ left his throne. He died for you. He died for me. And he said, the only thing you should do is to believe without doubting. Because when you, when you are believing God, when you come to God, when you come to God for you must believe that he is able and able can do that which you cannot do for yourself. So you have to put your total belief in God. No matter how it is, I'm bringing good news this morning. Now because it is time for your breakthrough. It is time for your favor. It is time the almighty God is giving you another new name. Double grace. Favor. Anything that you don't merit for, go there and get it. God will grant your heart desire. As far as that your heart desire is according to the perfect will of God. I mind the way I pray for people. God said you should pray for your enemy. Did he tell you the type of prayer? You should pray for your enemy. The enemy that, that has kept you on one spot for too long, that make you, the foundation you know nothing about, that you have, some people, some family, eh, they are suffering for what they don't even know the source. And the enemy have kept you there. And you want to pray, Father, let them change. Who is changing them? Can son of perdition change? They are doomed for hell. So you should get radical for Christ. Get crazy. I called somebody. I told her, I said, I, said, I would have called. I don't know. I would have called you at 1 a.m. in the night. Yes. You will say, ah, what is wrong with this woman? Is he crazy? I say, yes, I am crazy. I am crazy. I'm crazy. Yes, I'm crazy for Jesus. Do I have any other? Do I have any other place? So anyone that is not from my kingdom is against me. I don't care whether you listen to me or not. The people that I know are the people that want to serve God. And when you are against God, you are against me. I send the thunder fire of God to crash you down in the mighty name of Jesus. You think you want bad for me. For the fact you want bad for me, you will not know good all the days of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. All of you that they have refused you visa, the whoever that are is responsible for it. I release Holy Ghost fire to begin to destroy them. In the mighty name of Jesus, let thunder fire begin to destroy them. The, all our enemies are in trouble because we are in the resurrection month. So any dead situation in your life, I stand on this altar, I speak, I command them to come alive in the mighty name of Jesus. Come alive in the mighty name of Jesus. Every dead business is coming alive. Every dead destiny is coming alive. Every dead program is coming alive. Everything that God has planned and ordained for your life that are dead, I speak life into them in the mighty name of Jesus. When we are talking of death, it will never come near our dwelling. Oh, Father, commit your daughter into the evil hands of God. Do what only you can do. Make a way where there is no way in the mighty name of Jesus. Every way that is crooked, I command them to be straightened before you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are due for travel abroad. And the enemy is still keeping you here. Whatsoever that is holding you here in Nigeria, for you to go to where you belong to, I release the thunder fire to begin to destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I set you free by fire. 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 I set you free by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Family, the battles of family becomes generational. This life is a, is a life, is a battle life, and Satan has focused to attack destiny. To attack family, even the unborn children that know nothing about it, the enemy is there. 
there waiting for them. And if you don't stand in the gap, if you don't pray, if you don't do thorough deliverance, I say thorough deliverance for your family, the thing will still keep speaking. And you're still working against you and working against your children and working against your unborn children. So you have to get up now and stop them. Stop them before they stop you. You don't allow any enemy to stop you. That is why you belong to a praying place. That is why you are here because here is a, is a place of prayers. And there is no prayer you pray. We connect you anywhere you go. Be in your heart. Anywhere you are, we connect you to this altar of Christ's assembly. And that altar will begin to speak success into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. So I ask whatsoever that you desire, according to your heart desire, according to the perfect will of God Almighty for your life, will manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that wants to say no, Holy Ghost fire, destroy them. It will never be the perfect will of God for you to wish me dead. And I put amen to it and God will answer. Because I will ask for the perfect will of God for you when I'm praying for you. Because even if I just open my eyes and tell you my place, I don't need your belief. I don't need your belief. I know you are blessed. Anything that comes out of my mouth for you, it is done. So I mind what I say. And I am the one, do as I do and not uh, do as I say. My own is, do as I do and do as I say. I will say it and I will do it. Anything that, anything that I know that I cannot do, I will not tell you to do it. So when I'm telling you to do a particular thing, I'm just using myself as an example because I represent Christ. And on the last day, we are going to give account of each and every one of you. So if I fail to tell you the truth, Hellfire is waiting. It will say, all, all, all this casting, all this fall down and die, all this waste them by fire, all this expire. Anybody that wants you to expire, they will not come and be making fun of you. That will never be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. By the resurrection of Jesus Christ, every family, every foundation that the enemy have said, they will break that, the, uh, they will have disappointment at the edge of breakthrough. I destroy them by fire. I waste them by fire. I waste them by fire. I command them to be expire in the mighty name of Jesus. Once the cause is operational, it will affect the person. Almost everyone in the family. The faulty foundation of your childhood can be repaired if you pray and focus on God. If your foundation is destroyed, you cannot marry because who they will give you? They will give you the one that is the same thing like your own. Where's Richard? They will give you the same thing that is from your foundation. When the foundation is destroyed, you will operate under a cause. You don't even know anything about it. You don't know its source. Give me oh. Pray for your marriage. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you can do something. Yes, you can do something. And what can you do? You pray. Eh? You pray. As if there is no tomorrow. Continue pray. Don't pray. The problem that has lasted with you for 45 years, they want you to go one month. It's got a magician. Our God is not a magician. Yes, you are overdue for marriage. Keep praying. You, you should know that they are there before you were born. They, they even know where they bury your placenta. They, they know everything. They even, they, even there's a possibility that first punch they used to bury you. They know what they did with it. So you will continue praying until your prayer will locate anywhere they bury anything that belongs to you that will come alive. Then you will get your breakthrough. You pray as if there is no tomorrow. Don't say, I want to pray now, eh, tomorrow. Pray as if there is no tomorrow. Anytime you have opportunity to pray, pray. And God will answer all your heart desire in the mighty name of Jesus. There are a lot of things that you will be doing that you should prosper with it. And you are not prospering. He will just come and say, you don't wait for any pastor to pray. I say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as I pray, pray. Yes, as I pray, pray. I pray for you every day, every night. I've already done my assignment. But here is demonstration. So as I pray, if I'm praying for myself, pray for yourself. So that there is something you are expecting and it's not forthcoming. I say, oh Lord, if there is anything in me that is stopping my progress, 
that is stopping my success, that is stopping my breakthrough, because the Almighty God want me to prosper and be in good health. Anything in me that is blocking my progress, I command you in the mighty name of Jesus, come under fire, come under fire, come under fire, come under fire, come under fire. Anything in me that is blocking my progress, that is blocking my success, that is holding me back. I pray this body, Holy Ghost fire, bring it out of me, 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 bring it out of me in the mighty name of Jesus. Ask God for the power of God because without power of God, your life is doomed. Without the power of God in your life, the enemy can use you as an handkerchief to clean eyes. I am watching my time. I'm a man of time. Yeah. I keep to my time. Even, even if I come late, I keep to my time. It's God not doing this thing. God will take control. That is just it. Like I said, as you see me here, I don't even know how to preach. Uh, why are you laughing? I don't know how to preach. But one thing is certain. Anytime I'm being called. I ask God, why is it like that? Even if I like, let me prepare one message. Eh, at the end, I will not preach the message. I discover that once I enter, God will do what he wants to do with his people. A newborn baby, can a newborn baby control himself? No. So God will just do whatever that you see happening. That is what God has planned for you. So we walk as God wants us to operates. That is why we are from the kingdom. I uh, asked me to come preaching. I don't know how to preach. I don't know what you are talking about. All I know, me, I don't know how to preach. But whatever God puts in my hand, I say, that is why you see me. I always, I talk gently. But that I talk gently does not mean it's gentle in the spiritual realm. The generational cause. Because we are talking about resurrection of family. So when we are talking about that, we must deal with foundation. If you don't deal with your foundation, the foundation will keep working against you. It will stagnate your life. It will stagnate your family. It will stagnate everything you are doing. You are best in doing it. But the enemy will stop you. Imagine trying to stop somebody at the edge of breakthrough. Which means God has answer. Even Daniel, right from the very first day, he started praying. God has answered the prayer, but the queen of Persians, they hindered that prayer. If Daniel had stopped praying, that is how he would lose the answers to prayer. But he continued praying. That same goes to every child of God. That very first day that you have started praying, God has answered all your prayers. He did not die for you in faith. He did not die for you to come and suffer. He did not die for you to be getting a uh, failure at the edge of a uh, breakthrough. God did not die for you for all this suffer. That is why he created you in his own image. When you see me, you have seen God. If God is short, if, if I am short, which means God is short. If I am tall, which means God is tall. If I have a mark on my face, which means God has a mark. Yeah, ask for God now. Ask for the fire and power and authority of God to come upon your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Authority to conquer every battle. Authority to declare and it is so. Authority to make your visa to come to pass. Authority for breakthrough to manifest in your life. Authority for that open door that you are looking for, that has waited for too long to manifest. Ask God for the Jesus. Any negativity they are speaking against your life. Because my God is the God of war. I release that word against them in the mighty name of Jesus. The almighty God, they will not have mercy on your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. As they wish you dead, they will go down. As they wish you evil, evil will follow them. As they wish you destruction, destruction will follow them. As they wish you for a very long time in that spot, that you will not move forward. Every power, every chain, they have changed you down. I command because no chain could change Jesus Christ to the grave. No chain could hold Jesus in the grave. I command that chain to break by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Break by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Break by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
I ask for that blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. Let that blood begin to locate each and every member of Christ the assembly and begin to make a way where there is no way in the mighty name of Jesus. Every crooked way before you, let them be straightened in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be straightened in the mighty name of Jesus. As you step out of this place, begin to receive call of blessing. Begin to receive call of miracle. Begin to receive call of testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Because Jesus Christ has died to bring you testimony, to bring you success, to bring you breakthrough, to bring you open door. I decree anybody that study against all the plan of God for your life and the least Holy Ghost fire to destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus.